Did you know you can get free Golden Eagles for War Thunder? Download the app and use my referral code for 10 extra Golden Eagles. Check it out for yourself. Link in the description. The vast majority of people have some sort of policies or standards or values for how they treat others in their lives. We call these things morals. Today, we're throwing morals out the window because we're playing the BI. In order to make this video today, I had to sacrifice my moral integrity to play this grotesque example of early World War II Soviet technology. I'll get into why in just a minute, but for now, how did this monstrosity even come into existence? Okay, time for a brief history lesson. In 1940, Russia decided it needed a rocket-powered interceptor because of, well, World War II. They wanted it quick. They wanted it now, so they cranked out some designs and prototypes with different engines and armament arrangements. The one that ended up in game is the BI with the Isayev D1A engine and the 220mm Shavox with 90 rounds of ammo split between the guns. Now, the BI and War Thunder. There was an event in 2020 called War Game Strategist, and if you completed a bunch of tasks, the BI was one of the rewards along with a few other vehicles. Now, if you grinded this event and you got the BI but you didn't want to play it, you got yourself a very nice payday if you waited until now. I want you to guess how much this thing goes for nowadays on the market. I guarantee whatever number you have in your head right now is significantly lower than the actual current prices. As of today, when I'm recording this video on January 24th, 2023, the cheapest listed price is $800 on the marketplace. That's double what it was when I made my first BI video back in September. Why? Because it's rare and extremely powerful. Okay, back to the main point of this video. Why does this thing require you to completely throw away your moral integrity? Well, that's because this thing is absolutely busted. Like, for real. BR for BR, this rocket-powered monstrosity is actually one of the most powerful vehicles in War Thunder if you can get over the little drawbacks, and I'm gonna tell you why. Starting with the battle rating of this plane, it's very low at 6.7. So not only do you shred lower-tier jets, you can grief little Timmy in his F2G Corsair, P-51Hs, F4U4Bs, F7Fs, lol, or literally any other quote-unquote super prop. Even when you get a full up tier, you can almost do whatever you want until someone who's faster than you just runs away. In which case, I guess you wouldn't be able to do very much, but then again, neither would he, because it would kind of just end up a stalemate. Although I have to say, this hasn't happened to me yet. Hopefully it stays that way as long as I have this test drive. Oh yeah, one more thing about the matchmaker. It doesn't seem like it favors up tiers or down tiers, it seems to rather actually be pretty evenly split. No matchmaker aside, the performance of this thing is absolutely insane. Imagine taking an ME163, making it turn better, accelerate better, hold energy just as well at the cost of a little bit of top speed, control stiffening, and fuel amount. Oh, and also it's 6.7 instead of 8.0. But the real focus here is on that rocket engine. Yeah, you get less than 2 minutes of fuel, yeah, you only have 90 rounds of ammo, but this little rat rocket has so much thrust relative to its weight that you can quite literally fly straight vertical, no problem, and on low fuel, you can even accelerate while you are directly pointed at the sky. This is massive in terms of capability in-game. If you get into a bad spot, you can quite literally throttle up to 100%, pull away from literally everybody, and completely control whatever situation you have ended up in, even if it's several opponents at once. Not only does this thing have a super hyper triple stack thrust rocket engine, the BI still turns like crazy and holds energy like crazy. I literally find myself at 0% throttle multiple times every single game because I can't bleed the speed that I have. It's nuts. Now the downsides of the BI. There aren't many, and the downsides of this thing can be mitigated with a bit of practice. There are three that stand out that may take a bit of getting used to. First, fuel. As I said earlier, you start with less than two minutes, so if you keep your throttle high the whole game, you will run out of fuel. Luckily, if you throttle down, that fuel lasts much, much longer. In my last video on this plane, I ran a test on fuel at 25% throttle. One minute of fuel at 25% throttle will last you over 15 minutes, all while cruising over 700 kilometers an hour. That's plenty for a battle in War Thunder, especially when you consider you can just as easily fly around at, say, 10% throttle, which will last exponentially longer, so is it even really a downside? I mean, really, all it is is throttle management. Anyway, downside number two is ammo. Now, if you are careful, you can definitely stretch your ammo out to 5 plus kills, at least on fighters. Bombers are a bit of a different story, since they take a lot more damage before they are taken out. Essentially, you just gotta shoot when you know you'll hit. There is one last downside of the BI that is, in my opinion, the most significant one. And that would be control stiffening. If you own this thing, you have definitely died because of it. 
The majority of my deaths are from compressing while pointed towards the ground. It's probably the cause of more than half my deaths in this thing, really. Even now, after playing it for a pretty good bit, it still happens every now and then to where I'm compressing and going way too fast and I'm just like, oh yeah, I can't move now. Anyway, how does it actually feel to play the BI? Well, I'm going to show you. This guy's just going to full commit to this. <laughs> He bailed out. <laughs> BI experience. Dude, it's so funny. Like, I swear, half the games I play, someone's like, oh god, a BI. Or they'll say something like, please tell me you didn't actually buy this. Or something like that. This, this plane always gets noticed. Just don't make sure you don't compress into the ground, because I've died doing that so many times. Let me just climb at 10 degrees at over 700 kilometers an hour at only 30% throttle. This guy's already shooting at me, lol. And I can just throttle up, and then I'm gone. I'm out of here. As long as it doesn't hit some really long shot, that would be unfortunate, but... I think we're good. And then I throttle back to zero. I'm gonna dive down. I'm going too fast. Actually, maybe not. Ah! And now I'm compressing. <laughs> oh no. See, this is the problem with this thing. You compress. That's literally the thing you have to be so careful about this thing. Like, that's... Like, probably 75% of the deaths I have in this plane are me compressing and flying straight and getting shot or crashing into the ground. I guess if you want to, you can kind of just sit behind people. Or you can do this. I feel like most of the time we're going against US teams too, and I don't, I don't know if people just don't know what this thing is, but a lot of people will try and fight you. And the people that do know, like that guy in the beginning, probably just bail out or something. <laughs> it's hilarious. You can just rack up kills in this thing as long as you hit your shots. And sometimes I'll, like, when I am compressing, for some reason my instinct is to throttle back up because I'm not used to having to actually pay attention. There we go. Yay. Wow. Woo. That took so much effort. <laughs> okay, so the Cliff Notes version of this video, the BI is absolutely insanely powerful. If you have $800 you want to throw at it, you can just slap around literally every single thing you face unless you're in like an up tier and people can just run away. I think I said this earlier in the video, but that hasn't happened to me yet, so we're kind of still balling. But what has happened to me is compressing really hard and crashing into the ground because I forget that if you go over like 700, you just can't move anymore. And then there's the whole thing with the fuel and ammo. You don't have much of either, but fuel, obviously you can stretch that out to literally like 20 minutes if you really want to, and probably longer if you just stay below like 20% throttle, which by the way, you can. You can literally cruise around at, you know, going really fast under 20% throttle. And then of course the only 90 rounds in Shavox. Killing bombers is going to waste your ammo heavily, so I avoid doing that a lot. I pretty much only go after fighters and then only shoot when I know I'm gonna hit, for the most part at least. All right, I think that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video that was crafted with love and care. Let me know what you guys think about the BI. I think this thing is absolutely busted. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.